Hi, I'm Mero, and these are five tracks that inspired me. First song I chose for this list of five songs that have inspired me is a song called Folsom Prison Blues by Johnny Cash. Um, I chose this song because I'll never forget the first time that I heard it. I was watching the movie Walk the Line and that moment overtook me and that movie changed my life and it's because of that movie, because of his story, that I make music because He made me realize that I'm enough just being myself. And I would say that to every artist that's watching this, that if you have concerns of, am I good enough? Am I this enough? Am I that enough? Of course you are. Find some of your favorite artists of all time. Not everybody sings like Marvin Gaye. You don't need to. You can sing like Johnny Cash. You can sing like Tom Waits. It doesn't matter. You can just be yourself and that's enough. And that's what that in song, that's what this song inspired me to do, to be myself and to know that I was enough. So Johnny, I love you, the song I love too. I think it's beautiful. And I don't know if I would be here without it. Second track that I chose uh, is a song called Heroin by The Velvet Underground. And <laughs> this is a song that made me realize It made me realize the depths of artistry when you can listen to something and something can be so raw. There's fewer songs that I believe are as raw. And I will never forget the first time I heard this. It just dawned on me that we can express ourselves in any way that we see fit and affect people in music and culture for decades and times to come and being bold and being unique and being yourself. The song is just beautiful. It's the first one I heard off of, uh, it's the first song I heard off of that beautiful album too. If you haven't listened to it, you should listen to it. The entire, that Velvet Underground record with the Andy Warhol banana on it, produced by Andy Warhol. It's just an awesome song. It's just raw. My mentor showed it to me. I didn't know they were my mentor at the time, but changed my life, it changed my perspective of how records could be made, what the rules are and how to break them. I love that song, I always will. There's these screeching guitars in heroin that you think would be, just by description, would be annoying or would be piercing, but it evokes such an emotion that it feels like it's it feels like it's scratching an itch that nothing else can scratch in your soul. The power of the sounds that we get to choose to be a part of these records that not everything has to make sense. It has to make us feel something. It doesn't have to make sense. I love that record. It's such a fuck you. It's such a middle finger and I love it. Track number three is a song called Nights by Frank Ocean which absolutely blew my mind the first time that I listened to it. No expectations. Uh, I wasn't a Frank Ocean fan before. It was the first song that I listened off of uh, Blonde. And again, another record that just doesn't follow rules. There's no rules to it. It's just artistry, it's brilliance, it's genius, it's channeled. And it's timeless. And that switch in the middle of that song, when it goes to a completely different sound, and his voice and the lyrics and the memories that you make with these songs over time when you love them and you listen to them over and over and over again. I love the kind of music that you get something new from it every time you listen to it. And that's definitely one of these songs. And it's just another example of just being yourself is more than enough and expressing yourself in a unique way through the lens of greatness. 
and anything is possible. I would rather make records like these and never be on a chart than, uh, you know, not be fulfilled artistically and be successful or, or whatever that means. Just another timeless record. Track number four, The Less I Know the Better by Tame Impala. Somehow, um, it's the first time I heard it, uh, something that you've never heard before. And at the same time, it's so familiar. It's so incredible. It's like it's speaking to you. It's a song that you've wished that you'd heard before. And every second of it is spectacular. It's the way that it comes in sort of lo-fi and then, and then it exposes itself purely um, just a few more bars into the song. The lyrics of the song, they're vulnerable, they're beautiful. That one's, this record is just sort of jaw-dropping to me um, of how great something can be on first listen and be that good and affect culture and that entire record. Greatness is such an inspiring thing to me. I love greatness and I love timelessness. And those are the things that I look to as foundations and pillars for myself artistically to dare ourselves to be great. Take the time to be great. Dare yourself to say, wow, this is the music that inspired me. It's possible. It's possible for us to be this great. Why can't I? Why can't I do everything I can to do my unique version of this? And I say that to everybody that's watching this too, in whatever that it is that you do, whether you make music or you make clothes or you're a journalist or you're a lawyer or an accountant, whatever you are, there's no limit to human greatness. And that's what these songs show me. That it's possible. Fifth song that I had to choose is, I think the most beautiful song I've ever heard. It reminds me of the most beautiful person that I know, that I ever will know. And it makes me cry every time I hear it. It's called, uh, I Say a Little Prayer by Aretha Franklin. Um, I'm just imagining the way that it sounds. And it makes... It's a beautiful song. It's an absolutely beautiful song. If you haven't heard it, uh, you should. Because talk about greatness. Talk about human greatness and the possibility to reach something as timeless as that, to be that timeless and magical. You know what I realized about all five of these songs? Is that the first time I listened to each of these songs changed my life. And that's something I'm realizing now as I'm saying this to you, that all five of these songs changed my life. As a musician, as an artist, that's our goal, is to make art that gives you a new perspective on life, gives you a new perspective of yourself, makes you appreciate the most important person in your life, makes you realize that you are enough just the way that you are. These are what, that's what these songs have done for me. And that's what I strive to do in my music, to give people self-worth, self-love, appreciation, awareness. These songs are timelessly inspirational, beautiful, gorgeous songs. Uh, and I'm so grateful for all of them. And that's what I'm doing with my music, striving to be this level of timelessness, this level of greatness. I hope that you listen to my album, Dark Corners and Alchemy.